Right, what else, Wellington? Yes, craft beer. In amongst the craft beer revolution is Parrot Dog. Three guys, all named Matt, have developed one of the fastest growing craft beer brands in the country. So this is Parrot Dog, eh? Sure is. You guys must be Matt, collectively. Sure Matt, 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 and yeah. Matt. There you go. Sweet. Come on in. It's a place. Sweet. Yeah, let's go check it out. This is definitely a long way from home brewing. So here we are, this is where all the, the magic happens. Yeah. How did you go, you guys literally came from brewing in a bathtub. Yeah. To this. That yeah. must be a pretty amazing journey to go through. Yeah, well it's been, it's been pretty crazy like that. Um, started off in a very, very small scale as um, home brewing students, um, sort of 20 litres at a time. Yep. And now only yeah, a couple of years later we're doing 2,000 litres at a time. It's pretty crazy. How did, what was the process to get from that? Um, I guess the main thing we did was, yeah, we kept, we kept building these recipes and kept brewing these recipes that we, we really liked. And um, there was this one in particular which has now become Bitterbitch, um, which is our IPA. And we, you know, we gave it to mates. We used to sneak a, a few flagons into local beer events and give some to the uh, professional brewers. Mm -hmm. And uh, we got some really good feedback and it just gave us the confidence to, um, to, to go commercial with it. The Parrot Dog Boys definitely have big plans. They are now bottling their beer. So thus far, the growth of your business, the demand that you've got, it's been pretty much unadvertised, but social media has played a role, a role in building your business brand up, right? Yeah, sure. So, yeah, the craft beer um, sort of enthusiasts or, or um, yeah, people that are really into their beer is quite a loyal following group of people. Um, there's a lot of organisations that, you know, people are part of that do various things around beer and craft beer. So there's a lot of social media um, following on that about what's new, what's out mm -hmm. there and that. So we, we, yeah, quickly affirmed a good following um, on outlets like Facebook and Twitter. Um, and then just announcing that we had new beers and that would, would uh, generate sale leads for us as far as you know the local bar, like people would go to the local bars and say you should buy some Parrot Dog and, um, and we ended up having a lot of bars approaching us um, because of that original demand from the, from the end hunter, um, which is really cool. Mm. So what are your plans with, with that? Are you going to step up, the, are you going to do some sort of online stunts, some uh what was it, what's it called, flash mob, parrot dog drinking? Everyone maybe. just pulls out a beer in the middle of Lampton Key. Yeah, maybe we had, we had a quite a, a funny little advertisement get made up, and I think there's a few more of those in the cars um, around the nice theme. Hey, Sam, why don't you show us that thing? Yes, yeah, Sam, show us that thing. Do it, Sam, go on, show us. Yeah, go on, Sam. It's real good. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Paradox, yeah, nice. Right, so here we are. This is where people can come in and experience what Parrot Dog's all about, personally, with you guys. Yeah, so pretty much this is our little shop where we, we sell the beer to the public. Um, and flagons, people quite often bring their own flagons in as well. Uh, so this one is Bitter Bitch, um, our IPA. This is yeah, definitely like a flagship beer, I guess. Um, our most popular, definitely a hop-driven beer. Mm -hmm. So yeah, when you basically when you smell it, you'll get a lot of like passion fruit, kind of fruity flavors coming off. Definitely, yeah, yeah, that's cool. Basically, it all started with well, basically designing our IPA, and luckily for us, um, the dry hopping kind of mellowed out that bitterness which was there in the well originally, which made it a lot more drinkable. So I guess yeah. We ended up getting people's choice for to be Vana and had to keep the name because people liked it. Mm, nice. <laughs> right, this is Bloodhound, 
our red IPA. So basically, yeah, a big red hoppy ale. Um, you'll notice this is, what, well, 6.3%, but surprisingly easy to drink. I've got a lot of friends who are into the red IPAs. Yeah. So um, I've got a friend's birthday coming up. This will be just his ticket, so to speak. That's awesome. Cheers. Okay, this one is Dog, our dark mild ale. So an English style, basically yeah, light in body. Um, still, yeah, a lot of malt character there, but very drinkable being, yeah, 3.9%. Mm. It's a different texture than what you'd expect from a, a dark. Yeah, ale, definitely. It? And that's just, yeah, mainly because it's a light body beer. Mm. And, yeah, being 3.9%. So this is a limited release beer, a Scotch ale called Sleuth Hound. Um, so you'll get, in this one, basically there's a small amount of peated malt. So you get a bit of that smoky flavour coming through. Yeah, that's really good. I've, I've recently developed a bit of a taste for peaty whiskies. Yeah. And I love that, that subtle influence in the... Yeah, well it's yeah, the same malt they use for making whiskey. Yeah. I do actually really like that one. Do you actually? I like all of them. Oh, yeah. Definitely my favourite. And then maybe the, the Bloodhound. 